I thought I had a problem with my uh, HP 4329A high resistance meter and the 1000 volt uh, range. I was trying to measure the 1000 volt range and all the voltages from 10, 25, 50, 100 and so forth and so on are, are perfect. But in the 1000 volt range it was reading low and I, I also suspected when trying to measure some high value resistance, uh, uh, high value resistors that it was reading incorrectly. Well, I, I finally figured out what the problem was. So, I'll give you a demonstration here. Down here I have a Russian 88, I'm sorry, 88 mega ohm resistor. So we're, we're gonna measure that 88 mega ohm resistor. Let's go here, charge, measure. Now this is times 10 to the eighth. This is top scale. So that's just below 0.9. So that's about, uh, point that's I would say that's real close to 88 mega ohms. So 0.88 times 10 to the eighth would be, um, so that'd be 0.88 times 10 to the eighth. Move that over two. That'd be 88 times 10 to the sixth, or 8.8 .8 times 10 to the seventh. So that would be t uh, 88 times 10 to the sixth. That'd be 88 mega ohms. Uh, so that's that's correct, and that's on the 100 volt scale, 250 volt scale, just below 0.9 on 500 volts, just below 0.9, and on the 1000 volts, we're seeing a slight difference. We're seeing a little bit above. 0.8 but below 0.85. Well, it's not uncommon for resistors to show slightly different resistance values based on voltage. This is a thousand volts, so it's not uncommon to see resistance values change a little bit. So anyways, I'm going to back this back off. Discharge. And we're going to disconnect the resistor, if I can do it with one hand. Let that hang, hang there. Now I'm gonna connect up a voltmeter I was using to test. This uh, HP 427A has an input resistance or input impedance of 10 mega ohms. So let's go over here to the 10 volt scale. 10 volts, measure. And we can see it's dead nuts on 10 volts. Let's go up to the 30 volt scale. On 25 volts, you can see 25 volts. 100 volts, and let's see over on the uh, resistance meter, move to 50, 50 volts, 100 volts, 250 volts, 500 volts, and then finally, moving to a thousand, it falls a little short. What's going on there? It's measuring 970 volts, not quite a thousand. That's interesting. However, let me turn this off to discharge. Voltage is down to zero. However, I have this new HP differential voltmeter. The input impedance on this meter is 10 mega ohms. Set this meter up. Okay, so it's in the 1000 volt range. It's on voltmeter. And we'll run this up slow. So here's 10 volts, 25, 50, 100, 250, 500, and look at that, 1,000 volts. So that's on the 1,000 volt scale. This is reading exactly 1,000 volts. Also, we're measuring the input impedance. So that's one times 10 to the eighth, 
that's 100 mega ohm. That's exactly what the input impedance the HP specifies for the 419A, 100 mega ohms. Turns out, if you read the manual for the 4329A, it gives you a range of what you can test for all the different voltages. And the maximum available uh, resistance readings is five times 10 to the seventh, which is comes out to 50 mega ohms. So a 10 mega ohm input uh, impedance on the 427 is putting too much load on the high resistance meter and it can't supply enough voltage and the readings are wrong. So that's a, I was curious about that. It turns out if I dug out the manual and read it, I'd have my answer. But actually playing with this stuff is actually more fun, I think. Anyways, I thought that was interesting.